in the last video we talked about python strings and in this video we will talk about python numbers in python types of numbers depends on which version of python you are using if you are using python version 2 then it has four types of number if you are using python version 3 then there are three types of numbers we are going to use python version 3 so the types of numbers are int float and complex numbers one thing i want you to know is in mathematics the imaginary part of complex number is represented by i but in python it is represented by j both has same meaning so don't get confused it is equal to root under minus one first we will discuss about integers so we will create a variable to assign an integer to it then we can check the data type using type function it is int if you want you can print it explicitly now we will talk about floats for that i will create a variable called p and will store the value of pi up to 15 digits you might ask why so long well there is a reason behind it which you will get to know in a minute we can check the data type of variable p we will use this p variable later now let us talk about complex numbers there are two ways we can create complex number in python first one is same as we do in mathematics z equals to 3 plus 5 j now we will we can check the data type in the same way we did it earlier it is complex number we can check both real and imaginary property of z variable you can also check for data type of each property separately the second way to create a complex number is to use complex function containing real and imaginary part as arguments you can check the variable a complex number has inbuilt method called conjugate which returns the conjugate of that complex number now you know all three numbers available in python version 3 it is time to discuss about some methods and some common problems which you may going to face in future or already faced it let's look at our p variable you can see that it our p variable has too many decimal places value so to round off it python has an inbuilt method called round function which takes the first argument as the variable itself and the second argument is up to how many decimal places you want to round off so before rounding off up to n decimal places it checks what is at the nth plus one decimal place if the value is less than five it will leave it as it is else it will increment the nth decimal place by one for example here it was 1.23 so it was it has left as it is 1.2 but if we try to round off 1.27 it will round it off to 1.3 let's see one more example but when a value is exactly halfway between two choices the behavior of round function is to round off to the nearest even digit that is values such as 1.5 and 2.5 will both will get rounded off to 2 a well known issue with floating point number is that they cannot represent all base 10 decimals moreover even a simple mathematical calculation introduces some error for example we will create two variable a and b and then we will check if it is equal to 6.3 or not which it should be but it has given you false let's look at the variable a plus b here we know that a plus b is, should be exactly equal to 6.3 then why we are getting this error this error are the feature of underlying cpu and the ieee 754 arithmetic performed by its floating point unit since python float data type stores the data using native representation there is nothing you can do to avoid such error if you are writing your code using float instance if you want more accuracy and are willing to give up some performance you can use decimal module of python now we will create a variable using same values 
but using decimal function. Then we will compare it as we did before. This time we got true. Let's look at the value a plus b in this case. It is exactly equal to 6.3. At the first glance, it might look a little weird. However, decimal objects work in every way that you would expect them to, supporting all the mathematical operations. If you print them or use them in string formatting function, they look like a normal number. Sometimes you may need to convert or output integer representation in binary, octal or hexadecimal form. Well, to convert integer into binary, octal or hexadecimal, we have inbuilt function like bin, oct and hex. So we will use this bin function on our x variable and now you can see that we got the binary representation. Same for octal and hexadecimal. As you can see, all three functions returns a value with some prefixes that actually tells you what kind of representation it is. If the prefix is 0b means it is binary. If it is 0o means it is octal. If it is 0x means it is hexadecimal representation. Alternatively, you can use format function if you don't want those prefixes to be appear. For example, we will use format function then we will pass that variable and we will say that what kind of representation it is. So as you can see that it has represented without that prefix. Same you can do with hexadecimal and octal number as well. That's all about this video. If you face any problem in code or want to ask something then post your questions in comment section below. Our next video will be on arithmetic operations in python. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do subscribe it and hit the bell icon. And if you feel my videos are informative for you then hit the like button as well.